All right, if you made it this far, congratulations. We're basically ready to fly and do our final flight uh, test. So out here I have the ducts, the, the battery, got my multi-rotor, that's the little tool. Got some propellers, got the propeller adapters, some rubber bands to put on the ducts, and my control. And as you notice, up to this point, we haven't had any propellers on it. But now that we're outside, we have plenty of space around us. We can put the props on and fly the copter. Yeah, uh, the size of the area you're flying in depends on this level of skill. From a beginner, make sure you get out into a really big open area. So the lower the level of skill, the bigger the area you can fly in. As you can see here, I have a custom tool that we use to put the propeller on. But you can also use an Allen wrench or any small tool that will fit in the adapter. Alright, with the props on, we can now check the test. Uh, the prop direction really easily. It should be going in this way. If this is the front of the quadcopter, it should be going in this way. So it's back in this way. So we can see we're good to go. Next we have the ducks. For the battery, you're going to want to flip it over here like this and check out the area. So uh, right now, I'll, I'm just going to place the battery on the opposite side of this wire here. Place the battery like this. So the, the, the power adapter will just go right here and then this will connect right to there. I like to have it set up like this so the strap basically like this and tuck the balance plug let's put that under that rubber band just so it's out of the way and that's ready to plug into here okay so we're ready to do the free uh, the pre-flight checklist so we need to have our safety glasses on again we're in an open area the ducks are on the propellers are on we check the rotation um, we're ready to plug in the battery. We have the controller on. Oh yeah, we always should have the controller on first, right? Throttle should be down. We also want to check. Just to show you, we want to have the controller down. We want to have the disc switch on. We want to have make sure our flight mode switch. I have it on switch zero. Make sure you're in stabilized either way. And then uh, auxiliary, I have it on zero. Rates on high, high and I'll put my flap bit to zero as well. Alright, so that's ready to go. Just strap that on here. Alright, so we're good to go. Now I'm gonna plug in the battery. I got my transmitter on. Now I'm gonna plug in the battery and do the distance. Okay, so now I have my quadcopter set up. I've checked the weather. It's about degrees outside and the wind is 12 miles an hour so a little bit I would say a little bit too windy to fly but perfect for our situation here just to kind of show you what it's like so I'm gonna plug in the helicopter just like this and set it down and I got my transmitter right here Step away from the quadcopter and then try to arm it by going down to the right for five seconds. All right, so we see its arms. Now we'll go to disarm just to test it. All right, so that's working perfectly fine. Now we're going to check the pitch and roll. This one, maybe the uh, two. So first, we'll check the throttle. Well, 
arm it, throttle it just a little bit so it doesn't disarm. And I'm going to try to pitch forward. Now, I don't know if you noticed this, but as I pitch forward, it actually is pulling back. Now, as I pull back, it's actually pushing forward, which is opposite from what I wanted to do. So, I'm going to have to go in and reverse the channels, like I showed earlier. I'll do that right now. Okay, so I've gone ahead and reversed the channels, and now let's just do one more final check just to make sure we're ready to go. I'll arm it down to the right, throttle up just a little bit, and then push forward, back, roll left, roll right, and we're working. I'll disarm now, and now, now we're ready to do a test flight. All right, I have the quadcopter. Let's just go over here. I have the quadcopter set of ways behind me, and I'm ready to now test fly it. Uh, again, the wind's about 12 miles an hour, and it's what, 48 degrees. And hopefully overcast, so I'm not sure if we'll get a GPS lock, but we're just flying it now in stabilized mode. Uh, yeah, we're ready to go. We're gonna arm down to the right. Gonna have to set this camera down. And now try to take it off. She's just starting off. There's quite a bit of wind, so it's actually pushing it. So there we go. Flying by the fine. Yeah, as I would say, it's definitely a little bit too windy to be flying, but it's still um, able to stay in the air. Let's bring it back this way and land it. First flight. We're ready to go. That's the, uh, just remember to go pick up the clock on and the back. And there we have it. A successful flight.